So how would I tackle this problem? Increase 240 by 7.5%. Now there's a few ways you could do this. You could say, oh, you know, I can work out the easy ones and then I can remove them if they're not correct. Or I could times the decimal by 100 to turn it into a percentage. My approach is slightly different and this is just how I naturally approach problems like this. Give it a try. If you don't like it, I can redo it with a different method. But yeah, hear me out and I'm gonna go through each option. So option one, 240 times 1.0705. Now I like to see it as the one before the decimal point is 100%, okay? Then the next column after that, in this case, it's the point zero. So I see that as the 10 column. So for example, how many tens are we increasing it by? In this case, none. The next is the single unit percentage column. So we've got seven units there. So I know it's gonna be a 7%. Now the next column with another zero, that's gonna be a 10th of a percentage that has zero in it. And then beyond that point with the five, that is a hundred of a percentage. So as you can see, the one is you know, almost 100% pretty much if you want to look at it like that. And then from each iteration to the right after that point, it's going to be a tenth of the value, just like any other number. So from that, I know it's going to be 7.05%. And that's probably one of the harder ones to work out just because of how it's phrased. Now, number two, and bear with me because I realize this is slightly different technique to what you might be taught. 240 times 1.705. So as I said before, the one is 100% effectively. The next column is 10. So, you know, there's 10 sevens or seven tens. So we've got seven times 10%. So we know it's going to be 70%. We've got zero in the single percentage column. And then we got five tenths in that last column. So it's 70.5%. Next up, we've got 240 times 1.075. Using the method I listed before, you can try it yourself if you want to pause the video. But if you don't, the answer is going to be, I gave you a warning. <laughs> so 7.5%. So this is our correct answer. And the last one is going to be, I don't know if you want to pause and have an attempt at that too, a 75% increase. So I hope that method was clear. I hope it makes sense. That's kind of how I just tackle it in my mind. But yeah, let me know. Give me some feedback. I hope it helped. And yeah, I'm going to try and do other videos because this was question free of AQA past paper. I can't remember. I'll leave it in the description below. But best of luck. Thank you for watching the video. And yeah, best of luck with your maths. Thanks for watching.